everybody and welcome back to getting ready for university. A lot of you will be thinking about starting to gather your stuff up for uni, hopefully once you've got your place and that means a big thing of that is kitchen stuff. So today I'm going to talk to you about student kitchen essentials. I am channeling student today. I'm actually here filming with in my pyjamas. Uh, this is essential student cooking attire. You will not find many students once you get into halls who aren't cooking in their pyjamas. I'm uh, even sporting a university hoodie and my nice comfy pyjama bottoms. In winter it would probably be a dressing gown. It's still another kitchen essential, not so much to do with cooking, but it is essential to have comfy pyjamas and clothes that you feel comfy in. Let's start with number one. My number one uh, student kitchen essential, your favourite mug. Now this is my favourite mug, it's a, it's a Christmas mug but I use it all year round and uh, your favourite mug is really essential for when you are at uni because it's really good home comfort and a mug can double up for so many things, obviously for tea, coffee, hot chocolate, all good things for hangovers for freshers week, let's remember that. My number two student essential for the kitchen would be, I can't show you it, but always have more than one place setting of like plates, cutleries, glasses, etc. Because uh, I knew a lot of people in my first year and they only had one plate, one bowl, one knife, one fork. And it's just silly because things get broken and you end up wanting to have meals with your friends. You want to cook for your friends and it's not very good. If you're like, yeah guys, come over, I'm going to cook you dinner. But um, bring your own plate, not very nice. So definitely bring more than one plate, bowl, spoon, fork, anything like that. Make sure you've got more than one. Moving on to number three. Number three would be a good, decent knife. Now, this knife looks a bit old and rusty because I've used it so, so much. But the thing is, a good, decent utility knife like this, you can use it for everything. You can cut bread with this, you can cut veg with it, you can cut meat with it, but this is essential. I would say this is probably my number one kitchen essential is a really decent knife because you can end up spending a lot of money on loads of different knives and such and buying a whole set that's really expensive just for you to use at uni. I would definitely say one really good decent knife. Spend a lot of money on one decent knife rather than a whole set because you'll end up finding out, you'll find out that you maybe only just use the one. Number four, my student essential would definitely be Tupperware. I love Tupperware and this is a really good Tupperware set. You've got one, you've got three, three different sizes and Tupperware is really good for leftovers. One of my top tips definitely for student just living in general, leftovers are your friend. Whenever you're cooking, if you're not really into cooking as a person, but you have one day and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna cook loads of spaghetti bolognese, go for it and cook loads because you can chop it all in some Tupperware, put it in the fridge, put it in the freezer, have it the next day, have it in a month, but it's there. And leftovers as a student are the dream because you find out so many days, it's cold, it's windy, it's raining, you've just got back from a lecture, you don't wanna be faffing around with cooking, you don't have enough money for a takeaway leftovers so my top tip tupperware for leftovers definitely another essential number five would be a pint glass now if you have a pint glass in freshers week you're automatically everyone's best friend again same as a mug a pint glass can be used for so many different things a pint of squash when you're working a pint of water when you're hungover a uh, pint of beer obviously number six is comfort food. Mine is crisps. I'm obsessed with crisps. A stash of comfort food somewhere in your room is amazing. It's the best idea. Days when you, again, where it's cold and windy, you don't want to have to go out to the shop, so you just want, and you want a chocolate bar, you want some crisps, you want a bowl of popcorn, anything like that, have it in your room. And I know it's going to be really hard that, to resist the temptation and not eat it all at once, but if you keep it as a stash and it's there when you need it, it's a godsend. On days when you're not feeling great, you want some feeling a bit homesick, you had gone through a breakup, anything like that, they're great for a bit of comfort. So keep your comfort food stash hidden away from your eyes so you're not, it's not in the corner of your eye, you're thinking, oh, I could just eat those crisps. No, and away from the eyes of others so your flatmates don't come into your room when they're hungover and steal your food. Finally, number seven, my personal kitchen essential that's not exactly for cooking, but I really think it's a great thing for you to have and that is a radio or some speakers. Now, I'm a great lover of music and sometimes when you're cooking, you just need something to keep you going, get some good tunes on in the background. 
Uh, having the radio on as well is a great way to kind of break awkward silences. When you're in freshers week and you don't really know your other flatmates, a great way of just keeping nice atmosphere in your kitchen or whatever. Always have music on in the background, have the radio on, have your favourite album playing. And you'll end up talking to people about what music they like and it's a great icebreaker. So I would definitely, definitely recommend a set of speakers or a radio for your kitchen. That's it from me here on Get Ready For University. Comment down below what you think other student kitchen essentials are and don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to this channel. Hopefully see you soon. Bye!